There's two elective paths. We've um, dealt with that before. We're going to read out of uh, the uh, New American Standard in Matthew uh, chapter 7, verse 13. It says, Enter by the narrow road, for the gate is wide and the way is broad that leads to destruction, and many are those who enter by it. For the gate is small and the way is narrow that leads to life, and few are those who find it. Um, what happens... Uh, on the journey uh, of choice, we, we have to look back to the uh, birth registration document, the way it's set up. Um, this document is based on two elective paths. And because a child cannot choose uh, a path uh, because of being uh, not in an age of discretion to uh, give consent, the, um, the reason why the, the document itself um, is not even usable for identification, because the identification is used for legal identification, so it's it's clearly stated in the province of Ontario you cannot use this document for ID, um, it, not because it isn't doesn't have a picture on it. It's because of the fact of the what this document represents. It represents um, what it appears to be entering into legal contract citizenship, but a child can't contract, and so therefore the the given name being on the natural side or God's side and the supremacy of God, and then the legal surname, which is the path of the basically unbelieving nations and those that would be part of that, also referred to as a Gentile name, those with no covenant with God, um, they have, of course, the use of that legal surname. And so we've got two choices here. Interestingly, this document's hard to find in a lot of the provinces. Um, because they, they seem to uh, frown on it, mainly because of, I guess, the power of the document and what is actually shown on it. So the child's fate is not sealed, and that's why the seal is actually outside the frame on the document, not on the inside, because if they sealed that, it would be a contract. And most people are not aware of how contract law works, so this is certainly not a contract under seal. And because there is no provision in the Canadian legal system for an individual to transfer their given names to anyone, whether to a person, a corporation, or a trust, and any document that would purport to do so would be invalid, this document, if used to purport the use of the transfer of the given name to the surname, um, or to the corporation, or to uh, the Registrar General's office, it would in itself be invalid. So this would not be a valid document for ID in the legal world. So when we look at the two elective paths, they're actually protected on this because the fact is the child has to come to age of election to choose. So even though the parents may have been induced to give the privacy up of the child, um, the document still can't harm the, the child. And therefore, the question is, what did someone do later? Well, they took the broad road when they took down the commerce road or the legal road, which most people are on, that's the broad road leading to destruction. And so the two elective paths um, basically have two basically outcomes. Uh, one leads to uh, protection from God and e eternity. The other one leads to destruction. And that's why in the consumer world, Samuel Johnson's Dictionary of 1755 defined a consumer as those who waste and destroy. So they're actually destroyers in themselves. They destroy themselves. Um, the um, Canadian Law Dictionary uh, definitely backed up this uh, definition on election just to get you uh, in an understanding that uh, uh, they're not hiding anything. Under the definition of election, it said a doctrine which precludes a person from exercising a right that is fundamentally inconsistent with another right if he is consciously and unequivocally exercise the latter. In other words, one cannot have one's cake and eat it too, or one cannot blow hot and cold. And so when we're dealing with even the legal world and how it defines things, they still break up what is natural and what is legal. And so when you, this is just something easily picked up off of uh, the internet um, under the definition of what they call natural rights and legal rights. And it, it states it very clearly, natural rights are those that are not dependent on the laws or customs of any particular culture or government, and so are universal, fundamental, and unalienable. They cannot be repealed by human laws. 
Now we're into that word human, which deals with the legal system. Because mankind is on the real side, the natural side, human laws are based on this artificial concept of a man or a woman. And says, though, it, but it says, they cannot be repealed by human laws, though one can forfeit their enjoyment through one's actions, such as by violating someone else's rights. So when we look at that, they already told you that if you go in and you start violating on a side that's not yours, you can lose what was yours. And that's what happens when you enter into the legal and you went down the broad road. Now, it goes into legal rights. Now we're getting into the legal surname part that's on the document. When you enter into this side, the broad road, it says, legal rights are those bestowed onto a person by a given legal system. They can be modified, repealed, and restrained by human laws. That's positive law, man's law. The concept of positive law is related to the concept of legal rights. So remember what they said there. That's why they could do what they did during this last two-year period, during this medical craziness, because the governments basically are dealing with what is legal, and that is something that they can control. It's not yours. You've entered into it, and therefore they can take away those legal rights, and that's why there's no charter in democracy that has absolute rights. They're conditional. So therefore, you're not in control in that world. You've joined into a membership that's brought you away from God. So the two elective paths are there, and we have to now start to understand why would they issue this legal surety bond? Why would they do that? Why would the certificate of debt be issued, the birth certificate? Uh, it was there to make sure that you couldn't go down both paths, and therefore you had elected to be a surety for the legal side, which means you can pay for your debts. So you've lost, the, you've lost the gift that came from Christ by going down the other side. This is not by chance. These things are in front of us. And if you're going to be seeking equity, you have to realize you can't have both sides. So um, are we going to receive remedy? Yes, that's going to be discussed very thoroughly in several videos on how you're going to proceed how you're going to actually go about actually um, realizing that uh, the, the remedy was right in your hands, but you didn't see it.